Hi everyone and thank you for being with me today. This is Irene and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a very quick video on the life of St. Patrick's Day, uh, St. Patrick's life. Um, so St. Patrick is an Irish, uh, is a patron saint of Ireland and his um, celebration of his feast is on March 17th which is today and I, even though I'm not Irish I've always felt Irish in my heart because I was uh, raised in a very Irish um, type community um, in Lakewood and I graduated from a uh, high school where 80 90 percent were Irish descent so I have a lot of appreciation for the Irish community because I was raised in an Irish community and always ate corned beef and went to their parade and all of that so I am Irish in my corazón in my heart so anyways so um, St. Patrick I was a wonderful you know it's a wonderful um, saint to look up to I did not know that he was called to conversion at, at the very young age of 15 or 16 16 years of age. Um, before that, like anyone else, you know, he had doubts. He probably doubted the existence of God, like some of us do at times. And um, um, he was born in Britannia, which is now Britain. And um, he, you know, um, was taken into slavery at the age of 16. And he spent many years as a slave. And while, you know, being a slave, he um, was called by the Holy Spirit because only God can call you into this kind of life, by the way. If you're Catholic, you know that only uh, the Lord and the Holy Spirit can call you into sainthood or to, or you are called by God to follow him. So um, he was called and um, eventually he started praying and, and getting more in touch with his um, beliefs and um, be, eventually became very knowledgeable of, you know, the faith in the Catholic Church through the Holy Spirit, uh, which is the, uh, the one that gives you knowledge and wisdom. And eventually he escaped from being a slave and he met a great saint named Saint Germain. And Saint Germain became his mentor. And this man was extremely holy, extremely knowledgeable of, of the church and the teaching and the doctrine. So he gave him the knowledge, imparted knowledge to him. And St. Patrick became much more knowledgeable. But it's very important to also highlight that while he was a slave, um, St. Patrick also learned the Celtic language which allowed him to continue to spread the gospel in Ireland. So he went to Ireland and um, with the assistance of St. Germain became more uh, wise and more knowledgeable of the church and the true teaching. And he brought Catholicism to Ireland. Um, he um, little by little conquered the hearts of the, of the Irish people and became known as a great saint, as a great holy man. Um, he um, established the first church in Ireland in um, Saul and he um, you know uh, became the liberator if you will of Ireland if you want to call it you know that way because he did bring freedom of of, of the Catholic faith um, to the Irish uh, community and culture and allow um, this um, group of people to get to know the true church and get to know Jesus so um, St. Patrick is now revered and respected and um, venerated, not not treated like a God, but venerated as a great saint. It's very important to acknowledge that because we only have one God, and that is the Lord. Um, but he's venerated as one of the greatest saints in Ireland. And today, March 17th, um, here in Ohio, we have a huge community of Irish um, people. So they're celebrating big time St. Patrick's Day. You eat corned beef, you uh, drink green beer, and all this other stuff they have to do with other traditions that they celebrate. But um, I'm giving you a very a quick introduction. There's much more to know about St. Patrick, but I think it's very unique that he was called so early into sainthood. We're all called to sainthood. If you're Catholic, we are all called to sainthood. And any one of us, um, God can use any one of us to, to be a great saint and, and, and a great leader of a community or a church or an area. So, um, Please understand that the life of St. Patrick is just one example of the great, you know, of the many great saints that we have in the Catholic Church. So I want to end it here. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day to all my Irish.